What's going on guys? Spikezillion here, and today I know I said I was going to do part 2 of the Wonders of Nature for Pure Harpies this time, but I wanted to do something different today because I had made a bunch of custom cards for Harpies, and I was really interested in showing you guys how they worked, and I thought it would be really fun to just make a bunch of custom cards, so I made 9 total Harpy custom cards, so hopefully you guys will enjoy this and find it very interesting. So, we're going to start with the Pendulum Monsters here. So we're going to start with Harpy Bassist. So this is a scale three pendulum monster now harpies have never had a pendulum monster before so it seems kind of awkward to make a pendulum monster like why would we make it but the reason being is because i wanted to find a way to be able to special summon harpies without you know other cards so you don't like have to go like five cards and two of them are spells to special summon them and blah 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 this is just another way to special summon them without the need of those cards so that that was the idea behind making pendulum monsters so we have two of them today and one of them is harpy and the other one is a some more card actually draw and bring more some morgue um pieces together i guess if you wanted to play harpy some more you could do that now <coughs> sorry okay so we'll start with the monster effect if this card is sent from your hand to the graveyard by card effect you can place this card in your pendulum zone so that's pretty straightforward right uh now, it is important, right, because you can do that using Channeler, right? So you go Channeler Effect, discard this card. Now it can go into the Pendulum Zone, so you basically didn't really discard your card. You just placed it in the Pendulum Zone, which is what you were going to do anyway. So makes Channeler a little bit less of a risk to do its effect, which is pretty cool. Now, for the Pendulum Effect, if this card was placed in the Pendulum Zone this turn, you can add one some more card from your deck to your hand. If you Pendulum Summon a Harpy Monsters, plural... Activate one Harpy's Hunting Ground on your opponent's side of the field directly from your deck. So what's nice about this is uh, the Samorg card, it could be Dark Samorg, Cough Cough, Hint Hint Nudge Nudge, uh, or it could be the Samorg Pendulum card, and then you, it says this is a one card scale effectively, so obviously that's pretty broken. Um, I guess like there could be some stipulations around it, but honestly, uh, I don't think it's inherently that insanely broken yet. Um, it's hard to say, right? Because... You know, pendulum cards are crazy, but because of its scale, I feel like it won't be, like, that oppressive necessarily. Um, and also, like, the other effect is kind of worthless. But, but basically, all the other effects are kind of worthless, so um, I feel like Monkey Board is what pe most people would prefer anyway over this, so um, I don't know. It, it might be up to interpretation, but I think that this isn't inherently that broken. And if it was that broken, I could just change the effect to be more uh more specific but yeah i don't know um it, right now i feel pretty good about it i don't feel like it's that bad of a one card like i don't feel like it's that broken of a one card scale at the moment so um yeah interesting card right now why would you want to activate harpy's hunting ground on your opponent's side of the field directly from your deck well that's interesting right because i made a field spell which is kind of exciting um we'll, we'll talk about it later uh, first, we'll talk about the Samorg Pendulum card. Samorg Dawn of Time. This is a scale 8 dark monster, winged beast. Uh, it's, and the monster effect says, if Samorg cards on the field would be destroyed, you can discard this card from your hand instead. If a winged beast is special summoned in the extra monster zone, while this card is in your hand or your extra deck face up, you can special summon this card. That is not once per turn, notably. So that also might be really broken. Um, so that's something I would be willing to make hard once, but at the moment I don't think it's very easy to link climb with a card like this, because Winged Beasts as links are kind of hard to come by. Um, so I guess, like, if you wanted to, you could do, like, an Xyz monster Winged Beast, then Special Summon, and, like, there's a handful of Winged Beast Xyz, I think. Um, I don't know. It's hard to say, because I don't feel like this card is inherently broken yet, but this, this might be a hard once required, uh, potentially, because this, this might be crazy, because it's generic enough. Um, but yeah, we'll think about that later. And then if a winged beast monster is pendulum summon, this is the pendulum effect, return this card to your hand. You can reveal one dark samorg card from your hand, or sorry, one dark samorg from your hand, place this card in your extra deck face up. So this allows you to place it in the extra deck, and then you can special summon the card from the extra deck instead of from the hand if you want, if you think your opponent's going to rip from your hand or something. I don't know. There might be a lot of different reasons why you'd want to put it in the extra deck face up instead. But yeah, um, it's it's interesting, right? So this this is the 
uh, pendulum cards. So now let's talk about the spells. Let's let's get into those before we get into the extra deck monsters, because that's the main bulk of it. Um, oh, actually, we also have to talk about another card, but we'll get there in a moment. So let's talk about Harpy's Resting Ground. Uh, so this is the field spell. This is the other field spell. So this one you're going to activate on your side of the field, ideally. While this card and Harpy's Hunting Ground are in both field zones, your opponent cannot activate or set other field spells. So they can still destroy it or banish it, either one, but they have to do that first before they can activate or set their own field spell, which is incredibly powerful. Um, you can activate each effect of Harpy's Resting Ground once per turn. Target three Harpy monsters in your graveyard and shuffle them into the deck. So you might recognize this from Feather Rest. So this is effectively a Feather Rest retrain, right? Then reveal the top card of your deck, and if it is a Harpy monster, special summon it. Otherwise, add the card to your hand. So this is instead of drawing a card, you can also special summon the card as well. So that's basically what this is. It's just effectively another version of Feather Rest that is. Um, Always out, effectively, because it's a field spell, but can also be negated by Ghost Ogre or any form of removal. Uh, so it's it's not inherently broken, but I think it's a really interesting concept, making it a continuous spell effectively, but also making it really difficult to work around if you get Harpy's Hunting Ground in their field zone from the Pendulum Monster. So I think this is an interesting card. All right, then we have Hysteric Fusion. We have a fusion card, ladies and gentlemen. So, you can fusion summon a fusion monster using monsters from your field or hand as fusion material, including a harpy monster. So this is to lock, you know, people out of making some dumb shit. You have to use a harpy monster. Uh, if your opponent controls an extra deck monster, you can also use monsters from your graveyard by banishing them. So, I thought about doing from the deck, like, Shadal Fusion, but Shadal Fusion's pretty broken. <laughs> so I felt like, okay, well, you can bridge... The, the the plays by just using this as if it's like invocation more like and just banish the cards from the graveyard instead only if your opponent activates an extra deck monster i felt like that was pretty balanced so i think you guys will agree with that to an extent it's it's a lot more balanced that way and so um you can't really use this as effectively going first but you can use this more effectively going second which is what harpies are mostly known for anyway so yeah i thought this would be a neat idea but it gets even better. This is when I think it could be a little bit broken, but it's hard to say. You can banish this card from your graveyard, then target one Harpy monster in your graveyard, add it to your hand, and if you do, you can shuffle one banished Harpy monster into your deck. Uh, and then it's hard once. So, I don't know. Do you think that's broken? I'm not sure. Um, I feel like maybe I could just pick one of the banished monsters and shuffle it into the deck. That might be pretty good. But I also think that might be inherently broken. The only reason why I don't feel like it's that broken, though, is that it's not like Invocation, where it adds Invocation, or effectively adds Invocation to your hand, but adding Alistair to your hand. Um, it just adds a Harpy monster that won't really be able to grab this card. So I didn't think it was inherently that bad. Uh, but it's hard to say. Let me know in the comments if you think this one might be a little bit too broken. Uh, at least the second effect. Um, I think the first effect is pretty, pretty fair and balanced, though. All right, let's talk about the retrain. So this is a Harpy Lady Sisters retrain. You can see this card is always treated as Harpy Lady Sisters, but it's called Harpy Lady Sisters Hysteric Band. So what's cool about that is it's actually searchable if it's Hysteric or if it's Harpy. That's what's really cool about this card. Um, actually, no, it's not. Never mind, because it's always treated as Harpy Lady Sisters. Okay, I might have to change that. Uh, I might have to change that to be uh, in the hand field or graveyard or something. But uh, yeah, anyway, it's it's funny. Um, I wanted to make a Harpy Lady Sisters retrain. That was the whole point. Um, so, yeah, let's talk about it. You can reveal one Hysteric card in your hand. Special summon this card in defense position. So, okay, cool. If this card is special summoned, you can discard one Hysteric card. Add one Elegant Egotist from your graveyard to your hand. So not from deck, just graveyard. Uh, but what's great about this, obviously, is discarding Hysteric Sign and then adding Elegant Egotist. So you effectively... Use both effects of Hysteric Sign in one turn. That's the idea. Um, it's pretty insane, <laughs> obviously. But, you know, this deck so far has been insane. I I'm trying to make the deck a tier 1 or, like, a almost tier 0, not quite tier 0. That's, that's the point of this whole game plan here. Um, so it's it's pretty crazy, right? But, yeah. Uh, yeah, so this is a hard once for everything. And, yeah, I don't know. I think this is a pretty cool card. Uh, it's a level 6. So, you know, it works with Perfumer to search 2 instead of 1. 
Um, you can use it with the Samorg Pendulum card if it's special summon to make Cyber Slash. Uh, because any Harpy card can be treated as a tuner, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so yeah, it's it's pretty neat. Alright, now we can talk about the extra deck cards. We can start with the Xyz. This was the first card I actually written out. This was my very first custom card, so I was really having difficulty making it work, but I think it should be fine. So, it requires two level four wind monsters. This card, this card's name is treated as Harpy Lady while on the field or in the graveyard. This card is also dark attribute while in the graveyard. You can activate each effect of Harpy Percussionist once per turn. If you control a Harpy Link monster, you can target a spell or trap card, destroy it, then add one Harpy Lady Sisters from your deck to this card as Xyz material. If this card is sent to the graveyard, you can special summon up to two monsters that were attached to this card as Xyz material. So effectively, this card works like a Hysteric Party, except more like a Kragan, the, the Stealth Kragan, I guess. I was trying, I was thinking about Stealth Kragan originally when I thought about this card, and so I was thinking like, hmm, what if we could add the Harpy Lady Sisters retrain as Xyz material, then link this card off for whatever if we wanted to, and then we could. Special summon those two cards, uh, including the retrain, and then we can discard Hysteric Sign. I was trying to think of a way to synergize all that together. Um, it's it's kind of a tough thing though because it's it's still really good. <laughs> like you know what I mean? Like if you just linked off or whatever, this card is still insanely good. Like you could uh, link off into IP, and then still special summon two monsters effectively that were in in there. So maybe I might. I might have to change this to be um, Special Summon Harpy Lady Sisters from your graveyard or something. Um, and then that way it's like less broke. You're only, you're only plusing one on field, I guess, really. Um, it, it's hard. It's really hard. Uh, yeah, so this is, a, this is an interesting card, but... This was the first card I made, so it could be really poorly balanced. Let me know in the comments what you would do with this one, because I'm not sure. Um, but I think that's... I think that is a pretty good effect, all things considered. And you're not going to always make this thing anyway, because Cyber Slash is just a better card overall, for the most part. Um, but yeah, it's hard to say. Alright, so we got there. So now let's talk about... Let's talk about the fusions next. So, first one is Harpy Director. This was the second card I had made. Alright, so two Harpy monsters with different original names. This is... You can make this with the fusion card. This card's name is treated as Harpy Lady while on the field or in the graveyard. While this card is on the field, Harpy monster effects cannot be negated. Once per turn, if a Harpy monsters would be destroyed by card effect, including this card, you can return one Harpy card from the field to your hand instead. So this thing basically protects all the Harpy monsters from everything. For almost everything, right? This is a pretty powerful monster to have on the field. This is your this is your Dragoon, <laughs> effectively. Uh, this is a really good card. So effectively you are uh, making it so monster your Harpy monsters can't be negated. And then you're also making it so they can't be destroyed by card effect. Um, so they can still be destroyed by battle, right? Which is perfectly fine because a lot of monsters are 3k. They can usually beat over it. Um, but... You're still making this card, like, really, really powerful because card effects are obviously everywhere in this game. But because it says destroy as well, they can still be sent, they can still be banished. Um, but, yeah, it's it's still kind of crazy. So, yeah, I don't know. I think this is a pretty balanced card. I think this is probably one of the more fair cards, I feel like, overall. Because, like, cannot be negated. It's kind of whatever, right? But, like not be destroyed by card effects that'd be crazy or like banished or or you know whatever so uh, targeting i think would also be pretty good right untargetable is a pretty big one so yeah let's talk about veteran sky scout now now this card is effectively a replacement for diabolosis the mind hacker although it's not quite as good in my opinion uh because diabolosis can work really well under um, pot of desires but i think this card could be a really good replacement. So this is one Harpy card and one Wind or Dark Monster, so it's kind of locked behind Harpies that way, right? Um, you can look at your opponent's extra deck. Banish one of those extra deck cards face down, and if you do that, this card gains 500 attack and defense. So this is a pretty powerful card, because you get to scope out your opponent's extra deck, 
and banish one of the cards face down. If your opponent's monster targets a Harpy card or this card, Quick Effect, you can take control of that monster until the end of your opponent's turn. So it doesn't negate the effect, uh, it just takes control of that monster, which is also extremely powerful, right? So this is a pretty powerful card so far. Um, I also neglected to mention that this is technically a instant fusion target. <laughs> so this is kind of crazy. So I might have to say something like, um, I don't know if I can say must be fusion summoned. Um, I have to check the card text of instant fusion, but I might have to change to say must be fusion summoned. Um, or must be fusion summoned using hysteric fusion or something like that. But uh, yeah, this card's pretty powerful otherwise, I suppose. Right. Uh, and then uh, hard once, right? So, and also it's the end of your opponent's turn, which is notable that if it's your turn, um, you could just take control of a monster that your opponent controls if they target a Harpy card for their effect in response to one of your effects. So, pretty pretty powerful, right? Um, so yeah, I thought that was interesting. Alright, then we have Harpy Samorg Tamer. This is a Link monster, a Link 3, that requires two plus monsters, including a Harpy monster. Uh... Each time a Winged Beast monster is special summoned to a zone this card points to, you can target a card your opponent controls, place it on top of their deck. So this targets and places. Uh, this is not once per turn, notably. Um, so again, could be pretty broken. During the main phase, quick effect, you can banish one Harpy or Samorg card from your graveyard. Banish this card until the end phase. So this has a Time Thief Redoer effect, basically. So, I don't know, this card might also be broken. I don't know, it's hard to say, right? I tried to make them as balanced as possible, but altogether these cards are pretty crazy. But you obviously won't be able to get all of these cards in one game. You'll probably be able to get a couple of these cards in one game and be able to use them in some way, shape, or form. Because they're all separated into nine different cards, it makes it a little bit less crazy, I feel like. But perhaps it's too many broken cards, it's hard to say. Um, let me know in the comments what you think about these cards. Um, and next time we dive into the custom cards, so I won't say next video, I'll say next time, uh, I will show you some combos that I've thought up based on these cards. So thank you very much for watching, hope you enjoyed the video, rate, comment, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you guys next time.